Whether we wanted it or not, we've stepped into a war with the Cabal on Mars. So let's get to taking out their command, one by one. Valus to Arik. From what I can gather, he commands the Siege Dancers from an Imperial land tank outside of Rubicon. He's well protected. Now I know what you might be thinking. So many people have covered this season, there's nothing new to go over, it's one of the shittiest seasons there is. Well, let me give you my personal experience from the season and all the bullshit you had to go through and everything that's happened exactly. Well... Because I haven't played in fucking months, I felt I should start off by completing all the old quests before starting the hellscape that is Season of the Worthy. Now to be fair, the giant slope going into the bunker was always fun. Being able to just run down and jump at the last second and see yourself launch away to Rasputin was always pretty satisfying. Here you accept your quest to start a Seraph Tower and experience the most repetitive content to date in Oh boy, if you don't believe me, we had to complete 9 million events for a goddamn shotgun. Now when you arrive at this... event, you basically do two things. Kill ads and throw a ball into a giant tower boy. Now, we have the daily activity which consists of clearing out the bunker, it consists of a couple champions along the way and a main boss. Do that, and for that day you can upgrade your bunker and even purchase the ability for the bunker to just automatically clear itself by using the seasonal currency, which by the way, if you grind it for a decent bit of time, you'll have plenty of it, so it won't even matter in the end. In this season there were three bunkers in the solar system on Earth, the Moon, and Io, and to upgrade just one bunker took thousands of warmind bits. So you had to do quite a lot of grinding to finish one, let alone them all. So that's what I did. Now some of you may already know, it was possible to get outside of the map and glitch your way into the bunkers before they were officially unlocked. The only one I tried this on was on Io before it was opened up, so here's my original footage of glitching my way in. Now of all these upgrades to your bunker, you can do even more efficient grinding for Warmind currency that will literally benefit you in no way, shape, or form, unless you want god rolls with the Seraph equipment, which I'm pretty sure nobody wants. For public events and legendary lost sectors, you can summon a Valkyrie and a heavy frame that basically kills anything in its path. It's pretty much just a better way to grind. One of the requirements for the Almighty Seal was to complete a legendary lost sector without dying, and being the low light I was at the time, it was very difficult, but at least the perks made it somewhat doable. Other than that, you just grind to upgrade all the bunkers and it gets you another requirement for the Almighty Seal, which I did eventually get. Now there was this exotic shotgun, called the 4th Horseman. It's locked behind the season paywall and is a re-release of the same shotgun from Destiny 1, but nerfed. You get 4 shots which you can spam and it's pretty effective if you're toxic and crucible. However, the catalyst made the reload speed faster and even added a 5th shot to the shotgun. The hair apparent? Here apparent? Air apparent. It's just sweet business, but you wait until the gun is spun up to fire and gives you an overshield. You get this from Guardian Games, which brings us into our next segment. Guardian Games! It's just a bounty grind for the gun in a nutshell. You also got some pretty cool ghosts. 
Oh, and the Titans won every day except for the first day until the hunters got nerfed into the ground. Moving on, there was this door on the moon for the Fellwinter's Lie quest. It was for the final step in getting the Fellwinter's Lie shotgun. Oh. Well, I guess either the developers were still working on the quest as we were going, or they couldn't even test their own fucking game. EVERY FUCKING QUEST! Nevertheless, the memes that came from it were amazing. That's why I prefer to understand us for prefer the city that is smart in divine buffet to your sight. All right, it's as I will get on. That we dare to be belong. Yeah, that we be belong to the SS. Die gesamte Generalität ist nicht zweiter als ein Haufen niederträchtiger treuloser Feiglinge! Mein Führer, ich kann nicht zulassen, dass die Soldaten, die für Sie verbluten... Die Feiglinge! Verräter und Versager! So go get the power saw. Okay, I will. Anyways, there was this Trials of Osiris event every weekend. I didn't play it. You probably didn't play it. It was just full of hackers. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He, this guy's cheating, he's cheating. He's cheating. He's cheating. There was the Grandmaster Challenge as well, but honestly, I was so burnt out of the game to even try it. Basically, in a nutshell, the Nightfall required you to be 1025 light. The Nightfall was set to 1050 light. You have a limited amount of revive coins and you get more each champion you kill. And if your whole team dies, you are sent to orbit. A golf ball and four. I got a golf ball and an exotic. Puts 100% nail in the coffin. You are better off farming 1030s. But anyways, I'm not going to go into every detail of this season. Yes, it was a worse season to date. Yes, I have hoped that the game will get better soon. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Oh! Shit season. Set destination! Starfleet headquarters! Engines compromised. Cannot guarantee destination. Confirm order. Confirm.